I don't think I could slow a Corsair down that much. Probably not. It's <laughs> just amazing how slow this thing gets so quick. That's cool. Okay, let me keep this a little bit away from the airplane. When I turn it on, see if that makes What's a difference. What's the other uh, drag brace on that gear there for, Jeff? Oh, it was a modification they did in the field that kept the subwing from uh, changing angle of attack. Okay. And it was scaled to about a third of the triplanes out there and about 10 D7s had it. Good, nothing broke. That's good. I turn it on, Steve. And just like I said, it just kept that yeah, plane from... That was fun. Yeah, it's good. I was happy with it. <laughs> You're happy with it. Yeah. It just runs out of elevator so bad I got it. I think it's got to fly with my radio. Alright. Mark? Chris O'Connor with Mark Frankel's T-34. GT-80 engine. This is November 5th, and it's almost 70 degrees here in Minnesota. Warmest we've ever had in November. Light wind coming out of the south. Again, Chris O'Connor flying his Mark Frankel designed T-34, which he scratch built. Has a fiberglass fuselage, but everything else is, is wood, fiberglass, and paint. Thank you. 